Guys, it is six o'clock in the morning here and I'm just currently headed over to go grab some breakfast. And then after that, today I'm gonna go down to the Blue Lagoon. I got an appointment for eight o'clock and I could technically stay all day, but I think I'm gonna stay for a couple hours and then after that, continue on the adventure. Done, time to get over to the Blue Lagoon. And holy smokes, I was out there taking a little bit of video there, and the winds are so fast right now, like, my hat blew away, I was like, okay, it's a goner, thank gosh I got caught on a rock, ran up, grabbed it, and I'm like... So that was really fun. I definitely recommend checking out Blue Lagoon. Definitely worth it. Um, hopefully not as windy when you go there because man was it bad. Hey, so I just got to the lava tunnels and I have ended up getting a guided tour now, there's one that's farther down a gravel road that I could go on and it would be pretty fun, but the problem is, I've only got one or two flashlights with me, they're not very bright, and two, I don't have any real like mountain gear with me, so I probably shouldn't be going through the tunnels by myself. Wow, that was an awesome tour. I would definitely suggest going through the lava tunnels. That one, the cool thing is since it's a guided tour and stuff like that, you're not going down there by yourself. And if you don't, oh man, if you don't have two flashlights at least or a secondary body, you're really gonna regret it. Other thing for you is uh, if you can get Drew as a tour guide, go for it, Drew. If you see this video, man, wicked tour, definitely helpful, especially for getting around Iceland. All right. Let's go on to the next place.
Look how big this thing is, holy crap. <laughs> so you guys do adventures and tours, eh? That's insane. That's how we started the business in 2010, just after the eruption in uh, Eyjafjall. So um, then everybody came to Iceland to see what had like been going on and why all the flights got cancelled and all that. <laughs> so we kind of, it was a good marketing trick. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I mean, heck, I can even show you next to me, like next to the door. That's insane. <laughs> it's nice and high. Makes me kind of miss off-roading back home too, but if we had something like this, that'd be a whole nother story. I think I just went to the best hostel I've ever been to. You actually have curtains. Look at the size of this drawer. That's it, I think you actually give you a walk too. You got that. You got a hot tub. They got a restaurant, they got a bar. And it's only like 75 bucks a night. Like, that's really good for Iceland. Anyways, I'm gonna sign her off here because I'm gonna jump in the hot tub for one. I'm gonna grab some food and I'm gonna get my stuff up here. Anyways, have a good night. <laughs>